<laughs> she was all, she was like, the HBIC position, no, I definitely don't want that. I said, yes, because it's not a baby. For you. Okay. B, I just need an explanation. Because my thing is, at the end of the day, you know, look, I'm a gay man, you know, and I have an understanding to an extent of, okay. of the trans world, and I completely respect it. But my thing is, you want to be respected as a woman. Okay. You're not acting like a woman. Number one, you're standing taller than me, thick, feet bigger than mine, hands wider than mine, and you're disrespecting yeah, okay. another trans woman. That's like, how sexuality and gender are two different things. That makes yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? If she identifies as a woman, and in her mind she's a woman, it don't matter if she didn't have no titties, no booty, no nothing, and she dressed like a nigga. If she says that she feels like that, she feels like that, that's, you can't check. That's what her perception on life is, she's a woman. Trans women feel like they're not gay because they live heterosexual lifestyle. That's I mean, understandable, I but my thing is, at the end of the day, you give woman, no, mentally, you. physically, yeah, really. verbally. But well, we can't be misgendering her. I'm not wait, misgendering wait, wait, her. Wait, 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 wait. I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did I not have her back? Wait, 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 wait. Did I not say, no, hey, watch what At the end of the day, right. it ain't intentional. It's not, I know. You call it as you see it. Right. But I If I see a man. But if I hear it and I don't feel like it's right, then it's not right, and I'm going to say my piece. Did anyone act like one? But act like one. I know, but we know. She claims, huh? Did anyone talk oh to Fran? Oh my God, Fran! Act like oh one. No. Where's Fran at? Everybody follow Fran on Instagram. Did anybody talk I to did. Fran? Okay, you follow her on Instagram. Where is Fran? She's See, my whole thing with Fran is. Did Fran say she models? Oh, Fran. Those weren't modeling pictures. Yeah, those were like phone pictures. Those. What, how many followers? Maybe. Did you have? No, I think. Who me? Three hundred eighty-eight. Three hundred eighty-eight. Oh. <laughs> did you, uh, you got that? How did she get on you the got show? Back, back cat. Wait, what? How did she get on the show? Wait, 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 wait. What? Isn't she like six figures? She said she has six. And she, she about made six that. figures last she year. Said. I'm trying to figure out oh, yeah. how to get that. Where is Fran? You know, I don't know if Fran didn't come because Andre didn't come. You know, like you know, they seem to kind of roll together. Nothing wrong with that, but me being a model and Fran being a model. Thing. We need to be trying to grow our followers and stuff. I think, you know, I mean, I have like, what, 6,000 or something currently. I think Fran has like, what, 308, you know, maybe 88, 388 at this point. But anyway, we need to be trying to get ourselves out there. Girl, where are you? But no shade. I mean, I wish Fran was here. You know, no, Fran would have yeah. turned up. We you know, see those I don't want to be the only big booty bitch in the building. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Your booty look way better. Now, girl, D Hawkins. Yeah, ass. I thought I had ass, okay? I didn't buy the all the girls to the uh the, the Paul class girls so I could sell off my new moves and things, girl. And the Hawkins did not come to play, girl. I'm talking about like that girl vibrating this shit. Yeah, what do you mean? Do I wanna try the boat? Try the boat. I wanna try the boat. Try the boat, man. So overall, I mean, the day was actually fun. Honestly, when it comes to that giant girl, I'm leaving her right here. I'm leaving her where her big, stompy, muddy, alley boot self is at. I don't see you anymore. Oh, man. Ah. Kiss it when she <laughs> eat it, hey. Sanchez's beautiful showroom. Some of you guys may know him from the series Nicks and Fashion, but he's a good friend of mine. He helps me dress my clients, and today I'm in his showroom. Ooh. Oh my God, it looks so good in here. You haven't been here in a minute, I right? I know, it's been a while, you know, pandemic vibes. Exactly. So it's me down, but. How you been? I've been good, you yeah. know what, working, photo shoots. I just wrapped up a great movie recently, and so I have some editorial shoots coming up, so I was like, I need to uh, come in here and get some inspiration. Well, I'm so glad you're here. There's all these new pieces and stuff. Of course, I have to come see the Adolfo Sanchez. Aww, I love thanks. you so much. I'm just seeing your growth from doing the Look All Stars together. I know. It feels like it was yesterday. Yeah, I know. And then you going out to do other amazing projects. <sighs> Hi, honey. How are you doing? Oh, oh my God. Hey. Look at this place. Welcome. Oh, that, Welcome. Hi. Good. How are you? You look I'm fabulous. Good. Thank you. Thank you. You're looking so good. good. Handshake, honey. You're looking good. What the hell, honey? So the other day I met the crew, and one of the people that I vibe with the most was my boy Andre. So I'm about to meet up with him and do some shopping at this very nice boutique in LA. So what's been going on, honey? Nothing too much, you know. I've been working like crazy. Uh -huh. I've been literally on the movie set for like the last, since I last saw everybody. So right. I've been working and just trying to rise above 
like everything, you know? I feel you, honey. Me too, honey. It's been, look, it's been so much going on with me and my personal life. <laughs> when I give you this tea with my boyfriend, honey. What's <laughs> going on? Wait a minute. Look, so you know we're in an open relationship, right? Mm. No, I ain't know <laughs> that, but okay. I guess he feel like being open means opening my house. So no. literally when I got off the phone with you from work. Right, right, right. I walk in a bitch apartment. Go in my closet. It's the motherfucking dude in the closet. Literally. What? I mean, I didn't even know what to do. Like, literally. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody was in your closet wearing clothes, I hope. Well, he had clothes on. However, it was two condoms on the dresser. One was on the Damn. So, it just hit me and I was just like, oh my God, what, like, what's going on? You know what I'm saying? Like, I get we're in an open relationship or whatever, but it's like, my house is not open. Right. You know what I'm saying? Without my consent. But well, how are you doing? Like, how do you feel about everything? <laughs> To be honest with you, Dre, like my feelings, my emotions are just all over the place. Right. You know what I'm saying? I got so much going on with my mom. You know, she's in the hospital. Right. Um, just working so much, just trying to get my apparel line, you know what I'm saying, up and running. Everything is just like at a standstill. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. I'm sure it's the light at the end of the tunnel. First of all, I'm glad that Fran even made it today because from what I'm hearing, it sounds like he has a lot going on in his personal life. A lot of things happened today. So I'm glad that he had the time to make it out, to meet me at my friend's showroom and to just spend a little bit of time with me. Like I'm all about building genuine relationships and connections. And Fran is someone that I think that I can actually build a connection with. So I'm glad that he's stepping out of his comfort zone, stepping out of whatever he's going on, going through to come and meet me today. So, okay. I want you to be caught off guard, but I met somebody, and well, I didn't really meet him, I'm gonna meet him today, you're gonna meet him too, because I came across his page on Instagram. Uh -huh. He's a business owner, he's fly, like, I feel like he's somebody that we can mesh with. So I invited him here today, mm -hmm. he should be here soon. Okay, the girls are gonna fashion, oh, and there he is, hi babe, so nice to meet you. Too. Wait a minute, so I'm doing the intro? Yes, you're doing the intro. Well, they already know it's the Fly King. Our whole weight got a pound on me. And if niggas want to smoke, I pull up. Got a pound on me. It's the Fly King. I miss the congeniality. No jailbird like Lil Kendra, but still ran from behind balls like chasing reality. How you guys doing? It's the Fly King. I. I'm a rapper, battle rapper, and entrepreneur. My business, World Flyness, is doing wonderful right now. But it's just so much going on in trying to navigate through this life of having to wear a mask and trying not to get sick. Shout out to all the frontline workers. But I have a lot going on. I have so much to talk about. So, girl, I hope you have time. Thank you so much for coming You're today. Nice to yeah. you. How are you? I'm good. I'm doing good. Tanya, you are so fabulous. You're so, so fabulous. fabulous. I love it. Yeah. Like, so I came across your Instagram page. Okay. I saw that you like are into music. You have like businesses that you own. Like, tell us, give us a scoop. Like, what's going well, on? Well, I'm a hip hop artist, so I do music, and I'm also a battle rapper. So. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's so, so dope. Most notable for it. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and I have my um, business, Royal Flyness, so we sell luxury made grooming products, so lotions and soaps and things like that. Oh my oh god. god, I love all of that. I love lotions and soaps and skin products. Like, I'm a right. big skincare person, so like, that's yeah. super dope. Well, I think it's you guys some stuff. Yes. So where are you oh, from? Yeah. I'm from Los Angeles. Oh, okay. Okay. Where are you guys from? Let's get some action. This is the <laughs> Los Southern Georgia Beach right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love Atlanta. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm from Atlanta. Nashville, Tennessee. Nashville. Yeah, Nashville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Old Town Road. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Ain't no road. <laughs> My first impression of Ian was, you know, I'm feeling that vibe or whatever. It's very vintage. You know, he got a very vintage look about himself, but he seems cool, pretty cool. And no disrespect, my interpretation of vintage is old. Um, you know, he, he has a very old look about himself, 1970s, 1960s, you know, walking in with the Jefferson shoes on and stuff like that. But, you know, overall, his personality was what I vibe with. So, first of all, thank you for coming here today. Like, oh, you know, you. it's been an interesting few days. Fred and I are getting to know a group of people um, <laughs> people, a group of people, okay. maybe some might have potential to be friends, but others, I don't know. But I felt like we needed to spice it up. We need people that's fly, fresh, making moves. It's like, they really got that LA feel. And so I'm like, you from LA, you obviously got the music thing going on, your swag right. is on point, and we need to bring you into this fold. Literally, when I first met these gents and ladies, let me tell you, with, and they are honey. Literally. And it's just, you kind of don't know what to like, 
the energy yeah. away from them. You know what I'm saying? So it kind of just had me like in this space, like, where am I? So they like dry or what, what's the issue? It was just hard to like pinpoint everybody's like energy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I feed off energy well, and I like real, real people, real energy. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not giving nads, it's it's really not beneficial for me to even be. Right. 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 Energy? Yeah. yeah, the energy is yeah. the vibe. Like we were drinking, loosen, loosen them up. The drinking yeah. might have loosened Well, I heard it. Somebody got a little, 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 little too loose. <laughs> I like the drink might have got a little too loose because I did turn up. And I'm going to say, I'll be this way. Okay. I'm a type of person like, if I'm, I match vibes and I match energies. You know what I mean? And I don't really hold any punches. And sometimes that can be like polarizing for some people. But behind that, I'm also like a very authentic and genuine person. I take my energy serious, you know what I'm saying? So if I get out of character, it's because I feel like you coming at me, and you coming at me hard, and I'm gonna have to match that. So I think that's what kind of like happened. Well, who, well, how many other people are in the circle? It's quite a few of us. It's about eight or nine of us, and we have- Eight or nine of them, and all of them is, nobody got a good energy. I mean- All of these energies. Jeremy has good energy. Yeah. I like Jeremy. He's okay. cool. Like Jeremy. He's a professional too. Like he got a lot of stuff going on. So okay. give credit where credit is due. I right. like Jeremy. Right. Um, Alicia, I like to call her banana boats because she was flopping around and them them darn flats. You gotta watch out she had her. a yellow dress. Not flats. Yeah, you gotta watch out for her. She not, she's she not sitting at all. Thing is she's not, she's you gotta watch flat. what you say. You gotta watch what you say. She alleged that we went to the bathroom and did coke, yeah. which I was thought was just. You oh, know, she's doing too much. Doing I'm too much. Like, she needs to be certain. It's basically like, I'm like, girl, like, what are you talking about? She ain't got a point. 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 She ain't Lizzo, the next minute she making a stallion. I'm just trying to figure out which one is she. You know what I mean? I feel like this. What you mean? Because they kind of both be twerking and wild and crazy. But it's a different twerk. She. Uh -huh. I think this is what I think. <laughs> she's young. And so I think she's hanging around this other group of people like King, who we'll get to in a minute. King Pain. I can't stand in the rain. I wish I had a fan because I. Because she had a fan. But anyway, honey. Now, King. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, period. His name's King Pain. King Pain. King pain? King like pain. pain. He gives uh -huh. me pain, like indigestion pain, like heartburn pain. pains, diarrhea pain, just pain. Oh, girl, I'm but, <laughs> diarrhea. Uh-uh. <laughs> we're kind of two different people, and I'm cool with that. But I think where things went wrong for me is after we had this meetup at Hamburger Mary's, he went to social media talking about me and specifically calling me a sissy. I just only said that King Payne reminded me of Missy Elliott from the I Can't Stand the Right video. Okay, I would have been offended because you were saying that I look like a trash bag. That was like, I mean, that was what he was in it. He had on like a big black bubble vest, he had a fan and these sunglasses, he said, I'm not a fan. <laughs> yeah. Yes, girl. She called you a sissy? She called me a sissy. I'm like, girl, you are the chillest flamer ever. She gets up, she's like, oh, 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 you got him here, him here? I said, I'ma always be here. And I said, you see where I'm sitting? I'm sitting at the head. And that's why I'ma sit every single time. I'm up here. So you gotta take your gun and aim high to get to me, bitch. Chick, chick, boom, in the air. Because you, you down here. Well, thank you guys for coming to see me in my space. I feel like oh thank you for coming. Look at these yes, gowns. I'm a fashion oh stylist, so this yes. is one of my favorite designers that I collaborate with all the time. So I thought it was important, especially you know we're getting to know each other, for you to be able to see me kind of like in my space because the group is not really my element. So I don't want people to judge me off the group. I want them to know me on a deeper level. So mm -hmm. I'm hungry as hell. So let's get up out of here, child, Girl. and make it do what it do. Bro, not shades. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know I'm real. Coming up on Chasing LA. Let's go back to this whole coke comment, you know, because you were really upset about that. It feels like none of y'all want to resolve anything. It seemed like all of y'all just want to be mad at each other because when y'all started yelling. You know what I think it is? The bitches can't take me. They can't take Possibly. me. Possibly. If my dad was there, you know, maybe things would have been different. Than I don't feel comfortable when they're talking about you saying that stuff things because at the end of the day, but you said, I was, you said I was drunk at the table. Yeah. You said I was drunk. My name is Imani Van Zapp, and I'm here to help you fix your shit. So we're on week two of Jason LA. 
And what happened? Fighting. That's it. The end. Pack it up and go home. I, no, seriously. We're doing this again, y'all? Okay. So just a, a quick recap, because it really didn't much happen. We started where we left off on week one, where uh, Fran and Alicia are hurling obscenities on one another. And then Alicia, uh, uh, Jayla gets involved. And then people are yelling, and, and, I, and I don't know why. And then we go on to a scene where um, Jayla is talking with King Payne in drunken encouragement. And both of, them, both of them are so drunk, it was crazy. Encouraging one another. Girl, you can make it. Thank you, girl. Okay, that was very entertaining to say the least. And the next featured is who I really love, okay? Hershey LaCour, let me tell you something. Hershey, I'm really feeling you. I'm feeling your wisdom. I'm feeling your performance. You have so much charisma, and God knows the show needs it. And so then just when we have the opportunity to start building some storylines, there's a pole dancing class. So two events in the very same episode, but whatever. And what happens? Arguing. Let me tell you something. It doesn't make any sense. You know, a lot of y'all got common sense, okay? And y'all have my back, all right? Some of y'all, crazy. Coming at me for no reason. Let me tell you something I'm not gonna do. Okay? I'm not gonna sit here and try to make sense out of things that don't make sense. Can we just stop doing that in the world? Can we stop trying to make things make sense that don't make sense, okay? Listen, it doesn't make sense for a group of people who have never met each other, ever, get together and have the wildest argument you've ever seen. Doesn't make any sense, okay? So you have two choices now. Everybody is faking it, because you want to have the most ratings by putting out some trash show with a whole bunch of fighting and being ghetto, or B, the fights are real, meaning that every last one of you that's getting into an argument, you are the most deeply demented, destructive person on the inside, that the first thing you do when you disagree with somebody is come near blows. That's saying more about you. So did you fake it, or is it real? Neither here nor there. But let me tell you something. What I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna try to act like this makes sense. I will tear this show down every week if I want to. It better get good. Now as an update, I do want you to know that I did talk to Q, okay? Love Q now. I know that Q didn't expect it to go this way. You know, you pretty much wanna just focus on the cast and that's it, but I don't work like that, okay? You, you never know what bag I'm coming out of. You have a choice now, so everybody, I, once again, I love y'all. I love you, but you gotta get it right, okay? Become what? Stronger and better. And babies, I'm telling you, go and fix your shit. Cause you don't want it, I'm telling you right now, okay? Bye, baby. Spectacular is coming, so I have to film. So I decided to go to Atlanta and get with someone I know very well, Ja May, who has an underwear collection and he hosts a bunch of models that he's managed. So I'm like calling them like, we gotta get something together. So we get this beautiful loft out in Atlanta and we do some shooting for the day. which is my baby. I've had the babies like about to be two years next March. I started off um, just doing beard care. So I had beard oil and growth serum for your beard because I'm seeing all of these beards around town and there's parking spaces in the beard and I'm like, we gotta fill that in. So I came up with the line just to kind of, there was nothing for men, for men. There's Women have Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works and several different other brands, but men don't really have anything. And contrary to popular belief, men want to smell good, look good, feel good, all those types of things, right? Who wants to look crusty and dusty? Being ashy is out right now. It's a pandemic, you need to cream that down. Like we have to be healthy, take care of our skin. Baby, it's an emollient for your skin. It's just so moisturizing, it smells wonderful. So people love it, five star reviews, so make sure you check it out. So what you think about the shoe? I thought it went really good. 
It's what like you think about chocolate drop? Sexy holiday. Not the chocolate, the chocolate drop. <laughs> <laughs> then you got Caramel Delight. I was liking with his eyes all day. Mm -hmm. I posted him before and they was all like, oh, his eyes, all, his eyes, his eyes. We saw the lights. It was ridiculous. And I was, I was like, them contacts. Mmm, don't tell the secret. <laughs> no, I really like the shoes. I, it was exactly what I wanted, the vibe I wanted to give. Thank you. It was such a pleasure working with you. I know the, the, the guys were. You thank you. The guys was excited. I just appreciate you as a businessman, not only the aesthetic, but you handcraft everything and it's so good. I specialize in results. Mm -hmm. If you need something, you come to me, it's all These are some results. Matter of fact, with, cause you know, I don't know how to Let's use play. this. It's like, it's like Bangle, a little game Bangle. Bangle. Okay, the model it's got manis and patties. They came groomed, I didn't play that. <laughs> I did not play that. I said, I want them feet, the toes, the... You quit in jail? Uh, jail for you. <laughs> <laughs> you see him? Well, I'm excited. But it was such a pleasure. Thank yes. you so, so much for bringing Thank this opportunity you. to us. Absolutely. And we hope to keep bringing the heat to Royal Flyers. Yes, I have to come to Atlanta because they didn't kick me out of California. Well, y'all don't got no mask on. Y'all don't care about COVID. We drink. care about COVID. Y'all drinking? I, I guess y'all drinking orange juice. So y'all could. <laughs> I, I got a lot of see orange juice. I was somewhere. Did nobody flesh, have a mask? Alcohol. The police didn't have a mask on. I was like, okay, I play it too. I love too much. But thank you guys for coming. I appreciate. No it. problem. Come on, give me some love. I appreciate you. Yes. Man, they toast today. Give me more. Great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that's basically giving bits that you're handsome. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I just took offense to that. So I'm like, and she knows what she was doing. It was a reference. That's all because he could because Jeremy could have took offense to you saying he liked a drug dealer. Well, you right. I definitely could tell it was a misunderstanding because Jayla wasn't coming at her. I don't know what Alicia thought she heard, but I don't think it was what it was. I think she was saying something else and Alicia took it out of context and it made her mad. Child, by the time she got to 10, it was no bringing none of them people down. So <laughs> it was out of my hands and out of my business. So maybe I did take it out of context, but those last couple the last couple like conversations as it continued, I did not take it out of context. You just weren't. Because first of all, you started talking about my body, like I was ashamed of it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I, I've been in this body all my life. So I would never be ashamed of being tall and having titties and being beautiful. You know what I'm saying? At least I don't have semen in my ass. I don't know. What's the other guy with the butt shots? Uh, well, he says he's Kim Kardashian. He said he looks like Kim Kardashian. Prince. So I'm just gonna say Kim. I'm gonna say oh, Kardashian. Mr. I'm gonna say Mr. Kardashian. So he was like, I'm not a gay man. So I was like, okay. So what are you? Like, let me know so I know for the future because I'll let y'all know I'm a trans woman. Well, by that you know time, saying? I've never once misgender anyone. I've never talked about anyone's body. I said something about that. Like, to be honest about that, like the misgendering, like it doesn't, to be honest, it doesn't make me feel any type of way or make me upset because- It made me uncomfortable. Because the reason why is because that's just the norm. If everybody took 5.2 seconds away from trying to be the HBIC that night and said, you know, hey, hello, my name is, a lot of these arguments would have been done. She wouldn't have misgendered them. They wouldn't have been calling that child a man. It was too much going on. If this is what the group is going to be, I'm not about to keep on driving my challenger all over Los Angeles. Gas is too expensive, okay? And I drive a gas guzzler. I ain't got time for this. I could be at the house. Well, be frank from where I'm sitting, it feels like none of y'all want to resolve anything. It feels like after the whole thing at the stripper situation, at the dance uh, class, it seemed like all of y'all just want to be mad at each other because when y'all started yelling, nobody was even listening to it. It got to a point when y'all weren't even listening to each other. You know what I think it is? The bitches can't take me. They can't take Possibly. me. Possibly. I think the one member I want to, I'm, my spirit ain't right with the one that the, it was at the end of the table because Jay in a no shade, I don't know you and you don't know me, so it was no reason for him to come for my makeup, but I'm not gonna let that go because that one's sitting on my spirit and I'm gonna have to drag him a little bit. It got back to me that Andre said something about my makeup and Andre was on 10 that night. Like he was throwing it at everybody. He's the king of LA and he, you know, boop, 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 boop. Uh, he, he was, that child was doing a lot. If you're gonna say all the things that you said and do all the things that you did, you should come up and stand behind what you said. Everybody got the invitation, so why didn't you show up? With that being said, the way this group is acting, I shouldn't have came myself. So maybe I get it. But to me, your makeup is sickening. Thank you. I we need to find some way to do a show together. Oh, oh my God, we should. But yeah. I'm gonna do, I wanna get back on stage. Yeah, me too. Like a parking lot for something. Ooh. You know how they do all the world girls pull up to a parking lot. And maybe we should get day. together and maybe, maybe like in a month or something, like get a flyer made. And yeah. Parking lot, parking lot diva. I'm here for Let's that. Let's do black queens. So I feel like Absolutely. black queens are not, you know, they're not shown. Not in Los lot. Angeles, no. Mm -hmm. Let's toast the dragon with the divas here. I like that. <laughs> Drive in with the diva. I like that too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that piece of meat threw me off. is officially launching on my website, quamthepoet.com. It is a whole line of positive affirmations. Growing up, I dealt with so much low self-esteem. So when COVID hit, I decided why not put these on t-shirts, hoodies, and all types of other stuff so everyone can have a little bit of positivity in their life. 
All right, so tell me, I mean, so we haven't seen each other, you know, for a little bit or whatever, but how you feeling about the whole um, meetup, you know, with the with the new crew, the new group or whatever? Um, personalities is, is, is one word for it. I mean, I feel like that first night at dinner, it was just a lot going on. It was a whole lot going on, you know. From King and uh, the other one, and then... Andre. Uh, yeah, that one. Not that one. And then... Like um, Miss Alicia and her whole coke comment, which really just made me want to just—it just rubbed me the complete wrong way. Like, you know, honestly, honestly it, it, she she was just a bit much. It just period. But anyway, you know. And I was surprised because she was sitting there mighty quiet the whole night, and then she just quiet as a mouse. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, damn, is she a Gemini or something? But she just anyway. found a voice. I said, oh, <laughs> it speaks. Let's go back to this whole coke comment, you know, because you're mm -hmm. really upset about that. So for me, it's. It rubs me the wrong way because I'm someone for many years of my life, me, I had a really bad dealing with coke. Okay. And it got to a point where I was doing it like every day. I was trying to get through work. I, I, I like had to do it to get through work and everything. Like, and it was hard for me to admit that I was an addict mm -hmm. because I was able to hold down a job, bills was paid, everything was good, but all my extra money went to coke. Mm -hmm. All of it went to coke. Partying, clubs, coke, 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 coke. And it took me, it took the death of my only brother for me to be like, okay, I need to wake up. I need to like stop doing this because I was sad and depressed. I was thinking of suicide multiple times. And I was just like, okay, it's time for me to wake up because at his funeral, I'm, I'm looking at him in the casket and it's literally like, I heard God say, either you fix up or you're next. Mm. And I was just like, okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do something. In the past two years, I've been sober and clean and I've been working hard to not go back to that. And for me, when someone makes those type of just allegations and just throws it out there, especially when they're trying to use it as like a read or something, mm -hmm. it pisses me off because one, you don't know if somebody's actually doing that or not. That's true. Two, you don't know if anybody else at that table is doing it or has done it or is struggling with that or some other job. And for you to use it as like some sort of read or some sort of comment, it's like people really struggle out here with this. People really out here on their last limb. You know, that's true. And it's, 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 it, just, it just makes me mad that in our community, I know we all read and we all throw shade but it's just like some things I don't feel like we should go to right away. Right. Like read about health reads or drug reads mm -hmm. and stuff like that. It's like that's really that's really low. That's like talking about somebody mama or grandmama. And it's like, girl, like have some class. Like Yeah, you know, honestly, the way I see it, you know, she and you know, I'll say this, you know, I have, you know, friends that are transgender. You know, I, I love my friends and you know, they love me as well. I you know, I have nothing against them, but it's just like um, it's a double-edged sword, you know, to the extent that, you know, as a trans woman, you know, she demands respect to be, you know, um, seen as a woman, respected as a woman or whatever. And, you know, but she you doesn't want to be. You have to get respect in order to get it. Exactly. But in that scenario, it's just like you think it's OK to make a joke about something, a struggle that a person has had in the past or even if they thought it was current, you know, but right. yet, you know, you don't want nobody to comment on your current transition or, you know. I'm not calling it a struggle or anything like that, but it's just, you know, it's 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 something different, you know, to that extent. You know, we all go through it. But anyway, and I'll tell you this, you know, you're, you're not alone. Like, you know, I've never battled, you know, with uh, cocaine or anything like that, but there was a moment, a time in my life, you know, working in corporate America, you know, I had a lot of, you know, stress and stuff, you know, like I, I had a little issue with controlled substance, you know, at one point or whatever, and it literally got the best of me. You know, I ended up having a, you know, going after the lay for my job, you know. But yeah, D, like, I go so hard on it because I've dealt with those things I've dealt with abuse and um, drugs and mental health so you know I go very very hard on it because I know it's it's very hard to just get through and but um, enough about these crazy ones because they was crazy at the dinner Child, they was I'm tired of talking about them anyway. they was crazy at the pole class so let me first thank you for actually being a model for me so oh, in the midst of all of my dark days 
when I started to seek help in like therapy and like spiritual guidance, mm -hmm. one thing that really helped me a lot was um, positive I am affirmations. Okay. And I would say them like in the morning, like I am worthy, I am joy, um, you know, I am healed and just like all this stuff. And it really helped me change how I saw myself. Okay. And so during quarantine, the whole thought to me came like, why not put these on like hoodies mm -hmm. and like sweatshirts? Because there's so many people out there going through what, what I've been through. To make it visual. Yeah, so okay. and just make it like a big statement just okay. on your chest like, I am what I say I am. I'm not what the media says or what family it says or what some raggedy bitch on the street done said. Right. You know, I Basically, define you me. speak your own destiny over yourself. Exactly, yeah. Speaking of that, and we'll get that taken care of, um, but speaking of that, so I have a new single that I'm working on. Um, it's Come called on. Talk To My Dad. Now, um, this song in particular, or whatever, it is, um, basically it stems from the fact that, you know, I grew up without my father in my life. Mm, you know, um, I didn't meet my dad or speak to him for the first time until I was 16 years old. The fact of me not having my dad in my life may have contributed, you know, to me being gay, but then at the same time, it's like, you know, when you, um, you know, when the fact that I was molested, you know, by a female from five to seven, you know, oh, wow. I was raped by my sisters, you know, ex-boyfriend, you know, molested by an uncle, you know, a lot of different oh, things God. that took place. And honestly, I feel like, you know, if my dad was there, you know, Maybe things would have been different. Would have been different. But right. you never know. You, you know, never, maybe right. my story went the way that it did because I'm meant to inspire other people. You are, yeah. That's I, I believe that. Yeah. Like every everything that happens to us is for a reason, mm -hmm. and it all works out in some weird cosmic. The universe way. has a good way of doing stuff. But yeah. all that to say, sometimes in life we have to accept change, or change is going to be thrust upon us. Right. You know, especially as black gay men, you know, we struggle enough growing up. And then it's like we step into adulthood, a lot of times we don't, you know, a lot of times we don't address the issues that we grow up with. And then they really, you know, they they take over us and they become us, you know, mm -hmm. into adulthood. So I'll just say this. I love the fact that you are an advocate, you know, for those that have overcome, you know, situations such as drugs and things like that. And I can appreciate that, you know, so thank you for, you know, just doing what you do you know it inspires people and it just shows that no matter what you've gone through in the past you know no matter what you have going on there's still light at the end of the tunnel but you have to be ready to receive it so hearing Dee talk about how he hasn't grown up with a father is really touching to me my father as well was gone out of my life for a good 15 years or so and so the fact that he wants to actually make a song about not having his father in his life to me is really great because most artists and singers just, just want to talk about sex and drugs and turning up and partying and we need something real. It's really hitting home for me because I've also dealt with that and I know that that is a scar and that is something that takes years and years and years to just get over. I don't know about you, but I came to LA to chase my dreams and to make stuff happen. Exactly. You know, I don't yes. have time to be sitting down, going through no petty ass little arguments with people because at the end of the day, if it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. Uh, period. So with that being said, um, I would like to put together a uh, little function at Cobra City Stairs. You know, also, you know, Ooh. being a model and stuff like that, I try to keep my physique together. You know, try to keep my body in shape. Girl, those stairs is a lot. It is, those but it, it really, it's a challenge. So this is the thing. So because I know that the stairs are a challenge, mm -hmm. um, and I know that in life, so basically I'm kind of putting something together. In life, you know, okay. we all go through challenges. Okay. And with those stairs, it's basically gonna be a two-part thing. So what I wanna do is basically invite the whole group out, you know, and just basically ask each person to, you know, write down and make it visible um, one uh, or two um, scenarios in life that they've tried to overcome or whatever. And I want okay. them to consider that to be weight. Um, and I want them to put that, you know, write it down, put it in their pocket, put it in their sock, however they want to get it upstairs. And we're going to start at the bottom and we're going okay. to go all the way to the top. And I want them to carry that weight with them and okay. overcome those stairs, overcome that obstacle. Okay, and literally, coach. when we get to the top, you know, we can literally say to the universe and claim that we, we've made it. So, D. Hawkins is telling me that he wants to invite everybody to go hiking up in these hills and these mountains. I mean, with this group, it might be a little dangerous to do that, but hopefully everyone can be on their best behavior and we can get something solved because of that child. Some of y'all might go tumbling down the hill like Humpty Dumpty. 
if they want to get out, get there, and make themselves look a fool, uh, and, and and not be able to do it, then at the end of the day, that's on them. You know, I, I, I can't I can't speak for nobody else, but I'm gonna throw the idea out there. We're gonna see who shows well, up. Well, look, I'll be there. You okay. know, it's gonna be a struggle for me to get. Yeah, you might actually have to help me a little bit because you know I haven't been in a couple nah, weeks. So. I'm out of shape. I've been eating too much burgers and steaks and lobsters, honey. Well, that sounds so good. I downtown LA. I'm here for my boy Kaylin Allen. We're shooting an LGBTQ plus musical call for Christmas sake that's coming out for Christmas. Hello. Um, and I'm the choreographer, part artistic director. I'm super excited about this. There's so many amazing people and talent a part of this project and we're shooting in LA and New York at the exact same time as one of the girls is on pose. Hey mama, hey Monica. So I'm su super excited about this and I'm a little stressed because I have a lot going on but we're gonna knock it out the park. Finally. Oh, no, right? Okay. It's been a long time in the making. All right. And a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that, I have nightmares at this yeah, point. Yeah, but we're here. We are here. We are. We are. How, so, how so, you feeling? I feel good. Okay. So Jamari, uh -huh. Jabari, and Jalen uh -huh. just got here. Okay. So I guess after this setup with the queens, we're gonna work down this way. I talked yeah. to the choreography already. Beautiful. In the corners, so they know. Right. It. Okay. They probably know um, better than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be good. James is on the wardrobe. Okay. Um, and then that's gonna be. It. Then we gonna break it down. We gonna break it down. I'm excited about saying this. I'm excited about the entire yes. project. We are, we are giving inclusivity, we are giving diversity, we yes. are giving everything. And this is definitely my best work, I have to say. So I'm really, really excited about doing this project because one, I love working with just amazing people in my community. I first met Kaylin when he asked me to work on this Beyonce tribute for him and I choreographed that for him and that one amazing. So when he asked me to do this, do this project and they told me who was all a part of it, I felt honored to be able to choreograph it. I love the fact that I've been able to work with just amazing people in my community, like girls from Drag Race and RuPaul and Todrick and now Kaylin and Michelle. Like I love that I've been able to put my hands and footprint on people in my community that's making a huge difference and I know this is going to just be amazing because we don't see anything during the holidays for us and so now we have something that little boys and girls can reference to for us and I'm able to call record so that's amazing. Thank you Kevin. I love you. Yeah. It's time to jump on they wanna see you got a flown it. No. I ain't waiting till morning you need it now stay up stop yawning. Yeah. And you can keep all Rudolph give me a runway and red bottoms. Child that's why I've been shopping. Not to give y'all something. It's the most fun holiday. All the kids waiting for this sleigh. Santa. Coming up on Chasing LA. Well, what you I've been asking for <laughs> 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 the Why this kept the tea is this working hamburger mirrors and long beach and it's like she blocked it about it on social media. I mean, you know, our struggles are what we go through on a daily. I don't feel comfortable when they're talking about you saying that stuff things because at the end of the day, but you said I was, you said I was drunk at the table. You said I was drunk. It's your girl Chocolate Beauty. For those of you who don't know me, I am a vlogger in these YouTube streets. If you're interested in reviews on your favorite reality television shows, web series, latest celebrity news, trending hot topics, or all things pop culture, this channel is for you. And if you want to have a more serious discussion about topics that matter, this channel is for you too. So pretty much, I keep you entertained and informed all at the same time make sure that you guys follow me under all my social media platforms you can find me under the hashtag chocolate beauty 81 hopefully i will see you on my channel Ciao. picture yourself on an exotic island 
the perfect mixed drink concoction in hand, beautiful scenery in view surrounded by high spirited people who look just like you. Off in the distance, you hear one of your favorite songs getting louder as someone yells out, let's dance. You were planning to have a relaxing time lounging around, but your hips just won't let you be. LGBT Takeover provides the roadmap for you to travel the world with pride while having the time of your life. We are breaking barriers, exploring the world in style and partying like it's 1999. From foam parties in Mexico to a luau on Grand Turk Island, our next destination could be the travel experience of your dreams. Ready to make it a reality? Visit us online at lgbttakeover.com and follow us on Instagram at golgbttakeover. Make your travel dreams a reality today. Travel with us today. Today, D Hawkins has invited us all out for a hike at the Culver City Stairs. You know, slim trim him. I am no stranger to the Culver City Stairs. You know, I get my workout on from time to time, but I ain't gonna lie. Today, I was expecting a cute little light workout, but it looks like he might have to break a sweat for this one. What's here for? Let me tell you something. I've been asking this since, <laughs> since, since the beginning. Here? You don't want to be you're not in the mix. You ain't. Girl, give me some glam. I like the bitches to be glam a little bit, you know? <laughs> give me something. It's my first time seeing the group in a while. So, you know, I'm kind of interested to see what is the vibe everybody's going to be giving. I see Alicia over there and her energy is already off, which is no surprise there. But I am looking forward to still having a positive, productive workout, you know, sweating out some toxins and just releasing a little bit of tension and stress. And hopefully we can find a happy space and be able to move on. Oh. 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 That's like we're gonna work out. Please. <laughs> Y'all, we up here going up these steps, going up this hill. I'm up here out of breath, can't breathe right. And I look over, me and D is going step for step. Child, I'm over here like D. I thought you was in much better shape than I am. You over here down here with me. So we'll see what happens when we get up to the top. Because, child, I'm out of breath and I'm tired. So. D Hawkins invited us up to the mountain, some mountain I ain't heard of since I've been out here, to go hiking. Um, I look thin, I look petite, I look like I work out, but I don't. So the idea of hike, hiking, climbing, wasn't into it, but sure, let's do it. We all kind of arrived at the same time. Um, I bumped into Andre maybe first. Didn't even get halfway up the mountain, child, and he's already spilling tea, and he does not feature Alicia at all. The quiet has kept the tea is this working hamburger mirrors alone, bitch, and it's like she blocked everybody on social media. Because she was a super coming to her job to see them little half ass performance. I also work well, I also work there, but I've never seen it. Ooh? That's no shade. I bet I've been performing here for like three years. I've never seen it. Now, Andre is giving me all this tea about Alicia working in hamburger mirrors. No shade! But I've worked at Hamburg Mary's multiple times in the past three years that I've been here. I've yet to see Alicia there, so. Does she really just, does she just, I don't know girl, or do you really, or do you just, mm. I thought this was a networking group of influencers and people on the come up, not people that's working at Hamburger Mary's, like Alicia and slinging boxes at Amazon, so I just need to get over to him and let him know what the real tea is. Miss girl is down to the Hamburger Mary's performing for a few coins and some change. Whoever mad, stay mad. Child, the, I try to keep up with the boys. The boys that left me, got me walking by myself. And then, oh my gosh, Alicia. Like, she's right next to me. And then as I'm walking, I'm like, why aren't we talking? This is so awkward. Like. In actuality, I don't really know you. I don't have a problem with you. So I'm like, let's find out what's going on between us. Cause I'm, I'm ready to squash the beef. Right. 
These stairs ain't no joke. These women don't joke know how it feels to have boobs. <laughs> oh, okay, look. I slowed down. Not just to talk to you, I had to slow down. Mm -hmm. But um, I slowed down because I wanted to just tell you, like, you know, why are we not really fighting? Like, me and you. We stand between nobody else. It's just us. Like, I feel like as trans women, we don't need to be putting on as we hate each other. Because in actuality... I, and I never hated you. I never hated you. It was, I don't know what happened. I feel like or, it was just more maybe of a I feel like a lot of, to be honest, I feel like some of the, some of the guys were kind of instigating a little bit. Right. And I feel like we are two of the same. We're very alike. <laughs> The only mean we know what our struggles are, what we go through on a daily. I don't feel comfortable when they're talking about you saying that stuff things because at the end of the day, that means that you would come back and say that about me. I don't me. mind it. It didn't bother me. But what I think what happened is when he mentioned me at the table, it was like you were just I told, you were told him. And I, I told was like, no, okay. I told him. I was like, don't say that. You can't say that. But I wasn't shocked because that's what gay men do. Right, so but that's I told what you I had yeah. your back in that moment. But you said, I was, you said I was drunk at the table. Yeah. You said I was drunk. What's up with the whole coke situation? I said that because I don't do coke. No, what I so what I, I didn't say you did coke. What I said was because you was like, oh, you're drunk. So to people that's going to be watching the show, they're going to say, oh, well, she's a drunk because she's being assertive. So I took the from not to say, well, maybe you were doing coke in the bathroom. You know what I'm saying? So it's a little tip for tap. Tip for tap. You know what? I should. I was wrong for saying that because I was assuming and I was just saying it in the moment because you had said. I think that that's what really pissed me but off. I think that's what set everyone off. Yeah, that's what really, that it wasn't even really the queen situation. Because I was confused about that. It was really the cup situation. Yeah. I'm able to look at you in your face. I can give you a hug. It's nothing. Like, I really don't want that for us. No more. Like, it's ugly. And we're not ugly people. No, you know no. Definitely. So, I fuck what she says. We done with this bullshit. Let's just move on. Let's go you step know. on these niggas next. If you hear people shading me. Don't go in I know. It, I'm, you know no, I'm saying that's what I'm saying. That's between y'all. And if you hear somebody say something about me, that's between. Yeah. We, we just we, we here we right watch, now. Well, we, we here. Watch. We're good. We are gonna be here soon. Yeah. Getting hopefully. to know each other, and then after that, you can't say shit about my bitch in front of me. Period. I'm calling you straight up. Like let's get to know each other. Hopefully, we get to that point. We will. We will. So at this point, I'm just super excited. I feel like I knocked the chip off my shoulder. Um, yeah, me and Alicia, we actually talked and it was a great conversation. You know, I had to just, you know, get street with her to let her know, you know, don't play with me. But in actuality, I feel like she is a genuine person. So I'm excited to go forward with our relationship because we're two of a kind, two peas in a pod. Like, she's hella cool. So I can't wait. Let's get this. Come on. You follow with you about the uh, the song here in a few. I was telling him earlier that I'm yeah. featuring you um, on one of my songs or whatever, so that's gonna be pretty high. I got nothing but love for trans women. All my friends are trans women. That's the first thing they say. All my friends are trans women. This is my heart here. I'm serious about my shit, so I need people to get the fuck in here. I need y'all to respect the shit and let it be. If y'all wanna fucking talk and do all that shit, come the fuck outside.